have 20 millimeter RPG here she got my upper nose cam you can see I am beardless yeah uh, so I have been busy uh, with my friends trying to get this uh, traveler game all ready to go and uh, there's a there's a group of us uh, four of us um, so I have uh, Dave an old friend of mine uh, Dwayne, uh, the guitar player that uh, does some of the music that you hear on here as well. Uh, him and I are bandmates from a long time ago. And I have Spencer. And we're supposed to have another guy named Frederick. So um, we've been, uh, well, most of us have been rolling up characters uh, for Traveler. And uh, that's for uh, Traveler 2nd Edition. And I have a pretty cool game concept uh, ready to go for them. So I've been busy preparing that for, uh, for this kind of layout that you're seeing here. And uh, I got a mic for other things here. This is the live mic that I'm using right now. It's, it's another one. Uh, the other mic that I'm using is my old mic right now. Uh, so... Um, just uh, letting you know, I haven't disappeared off the internets. Uh, I'm still around, and uh, yeah, we're just working on this stuff uh, through Discord. So, fixing, making sure all the bugs are all like mm, okay. Yeah, there's no echoes going on with anybody, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, um, just a question out here uh, to other game masters, and and it's. You know, whatever game you're playing, um, and I have I have some advice in case you're ever playing uh, Traveler Second Edition um, or any edition of Traveler. Uh, one of the things I do to uh, cut down on rolling dice all the time is, uh, well, basically looking at your skill um, at your skill numbers. If you look at the skill numbers and you see that you have a zero there, you're basically trained at doing something. So you can take in consideration, for example, if it's a driving skill, you pretty much at zero level have the qualifications to actually run the vehicle. You won't know everything about the vehicle and you won't know all the quirks about the handling and stuff like that, but you will know how to turn it on and operate the vehicle without any real hiccups unless you know there's a problem with it right then then of course you may have to do a roll or something but you know if you are untrained you're going to get that minus three so uh so if you're at zero you are basically trained you don't have to roll for things like starting it up and uh and just rolling it down the street and uh, stopping and uh, and getting out, you know, well, that's pretty easy. You don't have to do any rolls for that. If you are at level one in a driving skill, then of course you got a pretty good hold on uh, a little bit of the handling of the vehicle and stuff like that. You're able to go ahead and and reverse and you know and you know have have no issues doing uh, a little more complicated things. With, uh, with your skills in driving. Uh, therefore, you don't need to roll for anything that you would deem lesser than that, okay? Um, if you're level two at it, then you're pretty much doing donuts and, and stuff in the parking lot, and you're learning how to do burnouts. So, um, and, you know, tricks, stuff, you know, you know the handling pretty good on vehicles and stuff like that. You can, you can corner really well, you can take corners pretty good. Um, so no rolls there when you're at that level. Then when you're like level three, you're pretty much like, you know, goggles Paisano or something like that. And, uh, you can, you're basically a, a race car driver. So, 
Uh, you know the handling of your vehicle inside and out. You know all the tricks of drifting and all that kind of stuff. You're, you're awesome at, at what you do. So if you take in consideration all your skills like that, and you kind of base it on what the situation is at hand, you don't have to do a lot of rolling. It's only rolling when you have some sort of like an opposition towards you, like you're in a chase or something like that, or you know, you're trying to draw, drive offensively, offensively or defensively. Um, that would require rolls. And of course you would, you know, apply your, your die rolls and everything. But, uh, but also keep in, in consideration, you know, your, your uh, attribute level as well. So you should always have your, your player's character sheets in front of you so in, in kind of like a, a really um, easy to read format instead of having like a full, you know, you just need the skills and the, and the attributes in front of you when you're looking at a character sheet. And you'll know how to kind of base whether or not somebody would need to make a roll or not. And I find that helps a lot. So that, that does cut back on a lot of your choices on whether or not you want that player to roll or not. Anything to kind of shave off any kind of uh, extra uh, minutes. Because, you know, when, when you're playing games and you're older, you don't have those uh, six to eight hour uh, game sessions anymore you're 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 basically you know you're working full-time or whatever and you got family time you got you got kids or whatever and uh, all you got is basically two to three hours to commit to a game at, at night and boom boom done well, time to hit the hay right so uh, having all these kinds of tips and tricks uh, can really help in making your gaming a little bit more efficient um, any anything you guys you want to share about different game systems and shortcuts you found out and that you want to share about, go ahead and, uh, you know, you can reply to this video if you want. I do plenty of reply videos, so I decided to put one out there that uh, maybe you guys can uh, reply to as well. If I don't see you until then, Happy New Year and, uh... It looks like our first session is likely going to be um, January 13th. However, I'm going to be doing a bunch of editing to that and everything. It won't be a live session. It'll be recorded. It will have all of us on the camera over over this way. That, they'll be over there. I'll be here. Uh, we'll have the die roller up there, of course, like you, like you see there. So... That'll be that'll be going on and uh, reading out uh, die roll results. Also, they'll be rolling in chat as well if they feel feel like it. And uh, out here on the uh, screen itself, you know, uh, right right here, uh, you'll see uh, a little bit of action going on, um, and uh, pretty much what they're seeing on, on my screen share, and. Uh, we we won't be using a lot of like maps and stuff like that most of it will be theater of the mind and uh it should be an interesting session so stay tuned for that it's uh it's going to be coming up and uh like i got some uh, some great uh players in in my game so uh we'll see how that goes all righty i'll talk to you later Cheese. um Subscribe.